Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for December 2018. First and foremost, a very happy birthday to you all. Yes, we are officially in your season as far as the Western spectrum goes. So I hope you guys have a fantastic birthday season. Happy holidays to all of you. So this is going to be your reading for the month of December 2018. Yeah, let's get started. <clears throat> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2018.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So if you can, I mean, can you believe it? We're already at the end of the year. This is nuts. It's been a really crazy one. Now, for you, Sagittarius, I'm seeing a mixture of green and blue, okay? So for some of you, um, actually, for many of you, I'm hearing, there is a ascension, I guess you can call it. You're moving up your chakra system. You're clearing out your heart chakra, um, which is helping you clear out your throat chakra, which is helping you communicate more authentically. I'm also seeing oh, oh, the lower chakras here. So because of any work that you may have done over this past year, I want to say, it's really coming into fruition. It's coming to a culmination. Things are really shifting for you, and you're really gaining the opportunity to be more authentic from a greater place of power, from a greater place of peace. And this is excellent. This is not, um, re it's really not that egoic in a way, because you're moving up to the upper centers of your chakra system, higher awareness, so it becomes less about ego and more about spiritual reality and um, personal authenticity, who you truly are as an energetic spiritual being, okay? One more shuffle for you, Sagittarius, and then we'll get started. Okay, I'm also seeing the lower chakras for some of you in relation to you may still be dealing with, oops, you may still be dealing with some lower chakra clearing, okay? But that's, ultimately that is not a bad thing. It's actually a very good thing. So let's see what we have here for you. Starting you off with the Queen of Swords. There you go. There's that truthfulness. There's that authenticity. This is you being in an energy of cutting out things that no longer serve you. And it's really not even about an argument. It's not even a thing. We're not even going to have a, really a discussion or a fight about this. This just does not serve me. Some of you may be dealing with, um, what is it? I think it would be Libra. <clears throat> Libra is the cardinal sign of the air signs. You could just be dealing with another air sign. You could be cutting out an air sign or adopting some sort of air sign energy. But here you go. You also have the Two of Cups here. The Two of Cups, for me specifically, has really been talking about the union between masculine and feminine within. Um, and this is, for some of you, this is leading you towards some sort of soulmate connection. For others of you, you are definitely being very, quite objective about um, a relationship you may have been in potentially with another air sign, but it doesn't have to be. But this is um, you being truthful and honest in relation to the balance that you have recently found. You have the Knight of Pentacles as well. So you guys are really moving forward. Oh, yes. You're really moving forward with your lives. You're taking things step by step, which is pretty foreign to some of you, if not all of you. Um, Sagittarians are more represented by the Knight of Wands. So that's very fast moving energy in one second out as fast as you came in. But um, here, I really see you guys are moving methodically, step by step. And of course, underneath all of that, you have the Ace of Cups. So here you go. There is that self-love, okay? You have really been working on, or you are in the process of working on filling your own cup with divine love, not necessarily looking for that that love outside of you. And that's definitely what the Queen of Swords here is saying, because she's saying, if you are toxic in any way, if you are not serving me, my mission, where it is I want to be in life, where it is I want to go in life, then you get cut out. And it's not even a malicious thing. It's all because it's in service of self-love here. And that is also helping you come into union with yourself with the Two of Cups here. That's quite beautiful, Sagittarius. So let's get into the first set here for the um, the first set of energies here surrounding um, you, first set, you have the King of Wands. So there you are. Now, typically or traditionally, this would be Leo energy as this is a fixed energy and Leo is the fixed sign of the fire signs. But this is also your energy here too uh, as a fire sign yourself. So this is someone that's very focused on what they want, knows what they're looking at for and it knows that they're going to take action to get it and this is really you standing in your power many of you have been balancing your masculine and feminine energies obviously with the two of cups that we're talking about here 
But now you're in a place to stand in your power as the Queen of Swords and remove anything that should be an obstacle that's standing in your way and you're continuing to move forward with your life and take action towards what it is you want with the King of Wands. The King of Wands is coupled with, hey, look at that. Justice, more Libra energy, but justice here is in service of you. Justice in the terms of getting what it is you want. Now, for some of you, I am picking up that you may be dealing with another fire sign and you. this may be a person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but this may be someone that you've had some sort of relationship with, a soulmate bond. Soulmates don't have to be um, strictly uh, uh, romantic in nature. Soulmates can be anything to best friends, family members, acquaintances even, um, business associates, uh, bosses, some of you may have a boss, actually, represented by the King of Wands, that you are. You may be cutting out of your life. You may be saying this this relationship or this, this business opportunity, this job opportunity, no longer serves me, and now I really want to move forward from that. But there is some sort of legal action also for some of you, I'm hearing, that's being taken. And I really feel like this King of Wands here could be a lawyer for you, male or female. Um... But there is definitely some, some serious justice coming into your life right now. And it's absolutely divinely guided. And I really feel like you are mostly, even if you have someone representing you in some sort of legal fashion, you are still taking the reins here and, and doing what it is that is best for you, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Swords. Now, there is still some sort of mental prison, men, uh, some sort of hang-up that you're experiencing here. Um, but I really feel like you're working, you're really working towards cutting yourself out of this mental prison here with the eight of swords it could be a slow and methodical process and the universe is saying allow that to happen take your time here because for some of you this mental prison that you have that you find yourself in in the current situation it could be something that you've been in for quite some time this could be learned actions that run deep it could be from your childhood it could be ancestral things that you learn from your parents um, uh, uh, thought processes or belief systems that you've adopted from your, you know your early family life that you're really having to work hard to get out of but it's not even like you're working hard towards getting yourself out of this. This is a natural byproduct of the hard work you're doing to bring yourself into union with the Two of Cups, okay? Eight of Swords is coupled with, hey, the Page of Swords. Excellent. You see? Take your time. You're learning about things. And as you learn, you are slowly but surely breaking yourself free from this mental prison. This is fantastic. Now, for others of you, <clears throat> excuse me, for others of you, <laughs> and I got choked up as I was going to say that because someone is watching you and someone feels trapped like they cannot communicate with you. That, and I really feel like if, it, if that is this person represented by the King of Wands, doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be any other sign. But this is a masculine energy at the very minimum, very least. At the same time, no, that could be male or female. We all have masculine energy within, regardless of gender. But I really feel like this has to do with some of the things that they, or some of the actions they have taken in this connection. This could be a romantic connection. This could be a business connection. This could be a friendship, a family situation. But either way, some of you are, some of, someone has their eye on you because of what may have happened in the past. And they really feel like they can't communicate with you because you have very much taken up this queen of swords energy. Now, this is a general reading, okay, Sagittarius? So this could go either way. You might be the person that is watching someone else because you can't really communicate with them because of the drama that has gone on here. But either way, someone feels trapped in some way, all right? Your challenge in this first row, you have the hanged man. This is Pisces energy. You might be dealing with a Pisces, but... A lot of you really feel like you may be in limbo at this time, but this limbo is helping to serve your highest good, your greater good, your enlightenment, yes? The, uh, often, the more we find ourselves, or for the longer period of time that we find ourselves in a precarious situation, in some sort of holdup, feeling stagnant in some way, feeling stuck in some way, the more enlightenment, or the chan the greater the chances of uh, a greater awareness or some sort of enlightenment to come through, Okay. But I'm really feeling like this is the Sagittarius. I'm really feeling Sagittarius energy here. So Sagittarius, you might feel a little bit stuck right now, a little bit hung up, but ultimately it's serving your highest good because it's helping you see things from a different perspective, okay? The hanged man is coupled with 
Yep, the Page of Pentacles. All right, so you're really starting over in some way. Um, some of you may be learning to be a little more committal, to be a little more honest and truthful and um, dedicated, I want to say. But this is the challenge here because that could be fairly new to quite a few of you, all right? The final message here for your first row, you have... Hey, there you are, the Knight of Wands. Now, this officially, in my opinion, is your card here, the Knight of Wands, all right? Um, this is also a spiritual warrior card for me. Uh, the Knight of Wands is coupled with the Fool. Yes, Sagittarius. So you really are embarking on a brand new journey, a brand new life cycle here, okay? Um, you do have this Knight of Wands energy behind you. Obviously, you can't escape it. It's who you are as a Sagittarian. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? But ultimately, you are really taking the action steps, steps that you need to do to do this step by step to make sure everything is in place. Because I really feel like a lot of you don't want to recreate the situations that you've experienced in the past where, you know, you may have rushed into things, flying by the seat of your pants, and then everything kind of goes to shit, you know, and you, you're, it's almost like you're growing up, especially with this page of pentacles here. It is like you're, you're kind of growing up. And you're having, you've kind of been forced to look at things differently, to approach things differently, but it still feels good. You know what I mean? Even though it might be a struggle for you, it still still feels pretty good because it's changing your cycles, the changing the cycles of your life, all right? The second set of energies for your month of December, first set of surrounding energies you have, oof, the Three of Swords. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with a heartbreak. Some of you might be dealing with a breakup in the month of December. But for a lot of you, this is that energy that I was picking up on with the Two of Cups and the Queen of Swords and the and the uh, the King of Wands here with Justice. There is a there's some sort of soulmate situation again that doesn't have to be romantic romantic in nature, but there is some sort of situation that is has been very hurtful for you. You could have been the on the receiving end of this hurt, or you may you could have been on the uh, the giving end of this pain. Okay, but you're working through this in the month of December. All right, Three of Swords is coupled with whoa, <laughs> the Queen of Wands. All right, and that's falling right underneath the King of Wands. So we do have some sort of counterpart energy here. This could be Twin Flame, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I do see the King and the Queen of Wands as the 3D embodiment of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. And as far, if we're talking Twin Flames here, then this is definitely a situation in which the Divine Feminine, the Queen of Wands here, whether you're, you're male or female in gender, it doesn't matter, but the Divine Feminine in the situation has very much been hurt, has been scarred, has been cheated, betrayed, lied to in some way. And the divine masculine in the situation, represented by the king of wands, is dealing with some sort of justice. Now, it may seem like, you know, the divine feminine is dealing with all the heartbreak while the masculine isn't really getting much on the other end of his, uh, on his end, but that is absolutely not the case because, because you here, whether this is the Sagittarian or the cross watcher, whoever resonates as the divine feminine in this situation, who's been dealing with the heartbreak for the most part up until now, you have the minor arcana of the three of swords. So yes, you have a lot of pain that you're dealing with, but the divine masculine in the situation has the major arcana of justice. So they're kind of getting the brunt of it right now. I'm not even going to lie. Okay. I mean, that's literally what the cards are saying. Second set of surrounding energies for your second row in December, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, Sagittarius. So a brand new start. This could be an offer coming in from someone, um, an offer of commitment, potentially a new business opportunity. A lot of the divine feminines are being, call, are being called to embark on a new business venture, start a new job, get deeper into their mission, 
uh, release their 3D attachments to work and money and, and business and career and start something new. So as you work through this heartbreak, I really feel like for a lot of you, this heartbreak is really inspiring you to pursue something new here with the Ace of Pentacles. Some offer may be coming in towards you. I feel like this really could be about business or you could be accepting this new start or this inspiration that the divine, your higher self or whatnot are guiding you towards and taking guided methodical action steps with the Knight of Pentacles here, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is coupled with Whoa! The Four of Wands. This is exactly what I was saying. You have come into a greater sense of balance here between masculine and feminine energy with the Two of Cups in your overall energy. And now, as a result, you have the Four of Wands. This is a union card, okay? The Four of Wands is talking about you have some serious foundation here. And this is spiritual foundation. This is the foundation of who you truly are. And now this is allowing you to embark on a brand new journey when it comes to finances, anything in the physical realm. Um, the four, the message of the Four of Wands, and this is something that has been overlooked, I feel like, for quite some time. But the message of the Four of Wands says, yes, you have a great foundation and this is definitely cause for celebration, but this is not a time to rest on your laurels. You still have work to do. So... The universe is calling you towards action and is handing you a new opportunity to continue on your journey. Your challenge when it comes to the second set of energies here, you have the Eight of Cups having to walk away. For many of you, this hanged man situation in the uh, first row is feeling stuck. Many of you may be... Um, going back and forth or unsure about whether you should really walk away or if you should just try this over. But here it's looking like the challenge is to move on, okay? You got these eight cups stacked here, but that is ultimately not in service of you. It's not fulfilling you. And often I like to say that this card is depicted as someone that's walking away from these neatly, eight, neatly stacked eight cups to look for the final two of cups that is going to complete that 10. And look at what you got up here in your overall energy, Sagittarius, the two of cups. So you are actively embracing these two cups in order to complete your 10. The Eight of Cups in your challenge for the second part of this reading is coupled with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups to me is really very much and has been resonating lately as the dreamer. Okay, so you moving on. This is more Pisces energy, actually. So you're you're being challenged by Piscean energy right now. Um you might want to look at where Pisces is in your chart, uh, what house Pisces is in. That could to give you an idea of what's being challenged for you right now. Um, what new start might be, new opportunity might be being offered to you with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands here. Um, but your challenge is to walk away from what is stagnant, what is no longer serving you, in service of your dreams, in service of finding that true manifestation or true representation of what you truly desire on an emotional level, all right? The closing message for your second half or for the second row here, you have, hey, look at that, Sagittarius, the magician. You are really manifesting something new in your life. The magician is coupled with, woo, the seven of cups now. So, okay, you are definitely in a bit, uh, it might be, it might feel a little bit chaotic. Um, you might be swirling around with a bunch of different dreams, ideas, things you might want to do, directions you might want to go in. There may be a lot of illusionary aspects to your life right now that you're having to weed through, but this is absolutely necessary in the process of manifestation. You got to get clear on exactly what it is you want in your life so that the universe has no question about what to deliver to you, okay? But ultimately, that is excellent. That feels so awesome, Sagittarius. Okay, next, we're going to close the reading with your oracle guidance for the month uh, from the Unicorn Oracle. So Sagittarius, my Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Has. All right. <laughs> excellent, guys. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Here we go. 
Best message, please. Closing message, please. Spirit for Sagittarius for the month of December. There it is. Underneath the deck, you have strength. All right. Strength says this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. So that's also guiding me to remind you guys that every situation, everything that we go through has some sort of blessing, okay? And I'm really feeling like what a lot of you are going through right now actually is very much a blessing in disguise, okay? Take that as it resonates. Um, but I'm picking up specifically for some of you that are going through the breakup of a relationship. Um, we could even be talking about divorce here with justice being the, oh, in the in, on the spread. Um, and I was saying legal action. Um, removing yourself from this situation, removing yourself from this relationship is a blessing in disguise because it's in service of self-love here, okay? Your card here, here, yes, is growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Well, it looks like you're already taking the baby steps because you do have the Knight of Pentacles. So if you're not taking the baby steps now, the guidance absolutely is to slow down a bit and take things step by step, moment by moment, one day at a time, okay? But you're, you guys are definitely growing. You're expanding. You're becoming more of an authentic version of yourself than you may have ever been in your life in the past. And that is really quite beautiful, Sagittarius. All right. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, and I am available for personal readings. So please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below, as well as the readings that I offer. But if you cannot pick, if you cannot decide which reading would be best for you, please email me and we'll discuss the situation. And, um, I will help you come up with the best reading possible. I'm not going to be taking as many readings over the month of December. I am going to be taking some, but it, I may be spacing them out quite a bit because, you know, it is the holiday season and we're in a very restful period right now. But either way, go ahead and email me and we'll get you set up. Yeah. Much love. Take care. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again very, very soon. Yeah. Mwah. Bye.